Welcome. As always, thanks for watching. Today, we're continuing to talk about the benefits of our salvation, okay? One of the greatest things we have in this world is peace. Peace from Jesus. This world is crazy. We've got 24-hour news trying to scare the bejeebus out of us. We've got whatever political party we don't belong to trying to scare the bejeebus out of us. Everybody's trying to point out the faults of everybody else. They're trying to rob us of our peace. But in Christ, none of that stuff will be successful because there is no weapon formed against us that shall prosper. So let's look in Philippians 4, 7 today, where the Holy Spirit has Paul write. He says, And God's peace shall be yours, that tranquil state of soul assured of its own salvation through Christ, and so fearing nothing from God, being content with its earthly lot of whatever sort it is, that peace which transcends all understanding shall garrison and mount and guard over your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. So wherever God has us, he will give us the perfect peace that he's with us. That we are more than conquerors through Christ that loves us. That our needs are met according to his riches and glories. That we will never fail at anything because Jesus will never fail at anything. That's the peace that guards our hearts. It's God's peace. So we have God's very own peace that we're going to be successful because he knows the beginning and the end. That's what we have. It says in John 14, 27, Jesus goes on, he says the very same thing when he says, Peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you. Not as the world gives, give I unto you. Let not your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid. So what Jesus is saying, look, I'm going to give you peace that even though the world hates you, even though that it's going to look crazy, I'm giving you my peace that you're successful. I'm giving you my peace that you cannot fail. It's amazing because it says that God's perfect love, which has been shed abroad in our hearts. Remember John 14 or 17, where he says that I, Father, am going to continue to make your name known to these people so that I will be in them and that my love will be in them, that they'll be able to actually experience and feel my love. And then what it says in 1 John 4, 17, it says, perfect love drives out all fear. Well, we have Jesus abiding in us so that we can have his complete peace. Every bet is assured, as Jesus is right now, that you are going to be successful. That's in us. We don't have to trust in our own understanding. We don't have to lean to our own understanding because we don't have to walk by our own faith. We get to walk by Jesus' faith. And he knows he's going to keep you because he's our shepherd. He knows, Father, I won't lose any that you've given me. He knows that our Father will keep us from evil even while we're in this earth. So Jesus has a complete and perfect peace of, I know the end. I know you're going to be victorious. I know you're going to make it. That's our peace. Our Father never leaves anything up to us because we are always one with him. Remember, that's what salvation truly means, is that we are one with our Father as Jesus is right now, just like our hand is part of our body. There isn't separation. God isn't up in heaven and we're kind of down here. We're one. We're perfectly united. Remember, and that's why the world will believe is because we are perfectly united. So we have God in us. And Jesus tells us, man, in this world, you're going to have all kinds of tribulations. But that's all right. Because I will cause you to be victorious in those persecutions. I will cause you to be glorious in those trials. I will cause you to bless those that curse you. Pray for those that despitefully use you. Whosoever sins you forgive, those sins are going to be forgiven. I will cause you to walk in ways and power that are beyond anything you could ever ask, think, or feel. That's our peace. That's our absolute peace that we have. Is that it's God's responsibility. It's our Father's responsibility to ensure that you and I make it. It's his responsibility to ensure that no evil gets through to us. That's why we've been sealed with the Holy Spirit until the day of our redemption. That's why we can have peace when the world is going crazy around us. When everybody's finding fault with everybody else, we can intercede for those people and thank them. That Father, you forgive them of that. You set them free from that burden and you give them peace and you give them love. To where even if they think that person is so wrong, they can love them and have compassion on them. Father, just pour your love out into their hearts. That's our peace. Our peace is 
we cannot fail. This is a truth that sets us free. Thanks for watching, and today we are blessed in the complete and perfect power of our Father's mind.